hi don't mind me um, still my PJs but I wanted to come on here and record this so that we have it documented um, kind of if you can see my cat back there and Cooper walking by um, but if I wanted to document this before they determine the cause of death for um, Gabby Petito I think um, so I've had some thoughts in my mind and I usually do know things globally let that come on the news so this is just a way for me to test myself to test my skills and to document it um, and if I'm wrong I'm wrong <laughs> I'm not an angel on earth um, I am a human being living in a 3d dimension so um, which leaves room for error and mistakes I am not the divine I do get messages um, but I am only human um, so we make mistakes so I'm I want to do this to check myself to see and if I make a mistake I make a mistake no harm done um, but again this is just to check myself so let's um, okay so we're gonna do the best we can with this light right now let me see if I can open the shade if that'll help it all right so anyway um, I've been watching the Gabby thing as we all have and um, what is this thing right there oh that's the book as we all have and you know I think like they said um, I saw on Good Morning America or somewhere this morning about you know we have so much attention on it because she was a social media person um, and it, this just goes to show that things aren't all as glitter and gold as you see on TV or on not TV on social media on YouTube or on uh, Instagram or whatever um, there's real life and people that look happy and look great can have mental illnesses and um, this is kind of a lesson for us to see and learn um, so I, I think it is a good lesson I'm very sad that um, they found a body that looked like her which I believe is her so what I felt happened is I felt you know they had the confrontation or uh, you know uh, manic episodes of mental illnesses that caused a confrontation and the police were called so I watched the video um, one of the reasons I don't think he did anything intentional is because he had offered to go to jail versus her you know but yeah he was the victim so you can go watch that video and see all that so that was my first um, inclination about him so what I think happened is they left another thing um, you know there's always hindsight I think the cops did a great job um, but that also shows um, the importance of having um, psychologists social worker you know mental health people that can approach the cops during the situation any kind of stop where there's a mental health issue and to de-escalate and not have people shot for no reason we need to have social workers mental health professionals in a squad car that comes just as if animal control will come just as if backup will come have them come because I don't believe Gabby was in a totally calm mental state when she left now I only saw what I saw so who knows but I felt that she could have used some inter intervention at that point some counseling some decompression just needed some maybe go even go to an office decompress um, talk about getting on some meds whatever so but it's hindsight you know I'm not saying they did anything wrong I think they did a great job you just don't know but that that was my only thing that I thought that they could have done extra okay so what I think is they left the, the next day whatever they did but then they got back together I believe um, he had called his parents to tell him of the situation with the cops and I'm assuming that this probably was not the first time that she has lashed out to him and I in no way am I putting her down him down they're just children I mean I have kids the same age 
so I mean I don't want to get choked up but you know they're just they're naive they're young um, so anyway I think he told his mom and you know maybe who he talked to that night when he was separated you know they came to the conclusion that um, she has issues you know I don't think that that's how they said it I think they said that I think in their mind they were like you need to leave the bitch you know not that she is one and not at all but I think that's what he his parents had said to him in their conversation you know like I need to get out of this toxic relationship she's a B she's hitting me you know it could go worse um, we almost got arrested you know I think they had that kind of conversation um, and I'm not saying that she's any of those things but I'm saying in the moment you know his parents were trying to protect him so he, he was mad you know he had that conversation with his parents and then they went to the park where she was found and she got out and he, he just waited for the right moment because in his mind this whole time he's thinking I need to leave this bee not that she's a bitch I'm just saying this is what was in his mind you know I mean, you can be madly in love but someone crosses the line and it becomes hate okay so and you cross the line of I'm not putting up with this anymore you know this has gone too far we almost got arrested blah 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 so I think he waited for the opportune, opportune moment for her to be out it, on the path in the wilderness wherever you know she probably I don't know if she had her phone or didn't have her phone uh, but she probably didn't have a charger on her um, she may not even had her phone I don't know who had the phone but let's say she didn't have the phone so he just he waited for the opportune moment um, maybe he said he had to go back from the path that they were walking on and he took her phone or you know whatever I don't know what happened with the phone why I'm saying why she couldn't call her parents um, but then maybe she was on low battery and the phone died okay so if she had her phone the phone died so anyway he waited for the opportune moment and he's like I'm leaving the bee not that she is one I'm just saying this is what was his, his mind I'm leaving the bee and he left he was angry he was hurt he was tired of it he was tired of the ups and downs and for his own mental sanity as his parents were trying to care for him he's like I'm just leaving her in his mind he might have thought you know she's a friendly person um, someone will help her she will get to some kind of help but I'm done I'm gone I'm leaving not the most mature thing to do but I'm sure people have done stuff like that maybe not left someone three states over or five states over or whatever it was to where she really lives or to Florida that would be a lot of states but um, he left her okay so you know you've heard of people getting in arguments and get out of my fucking car you know you walk home now get out so or, or they're they're like let me out of this car I'll walk home I'm mad so that happened so I think that's what happened so then he got home and he was just like I'm done with her you know whatever happens happens but then it time passed and it became that she became missing from the, the parents saying she's missing so now she's a missing person it's all over the news he's got anxiety he's getting worried um, he's talking to his family they get a lawyer because of course the first person they're going to check is the closest um, mate and he talked to his lawyer and he and the lawyer said you know what happened well you know I was sick of her fight and maybe they had gotten into another confrontation um, and he hit she hit him again which is why he's not seen also because maybe he's got a bloody eye uh, uh, yeah it's called bloody eye he's got more bruises on him so he has bruises on him and he says you know she hit me again we got in a fight again and I, I just left her you know I like made calm and then made her think everything was fine went back to the van and took off okay but now he gets home they talk to the lawyer he says I don't know where she is I left her she hit me I have bruises all over me okay and the lawyer says okay you have bruises if we show you it's going to look like there was a struggle she's left in the woods God forbid something happens to her you're gonna be the person that's accused 
They're hoping nothing happens to her. Remember, they're thinking she's going to find someone to help her. So the lawyer, and honestly, if I were a lawyer, I think this is a brilliant, um, uh, brilliant um, plan. Don't be seen. Don't say anything. Let's just wait for her to show up. Stop. No. Sorry, my cat is playing with my crystals. So let's just wait, let's just wait this out. Let's just see if she shows up. Um, everybody's looking for her. You know, she might. Could she be doing this out of spite? Could she be hiding and making you get in trouble because she's mad? So, you know what? You know, she's mad at you. You know, they might have thought that. Maybe even Gabby said something. Um, you ever leave me again in the van, or you, you know, you threaten to leave me? I'm gonna go hide, and I'm gonna make people think that you did something to me. Who knows? She might have said that. Or some kind of conversation about that. But then things got calmed and again he waited for his moment and he took off. So he gets home. He's got bruises. He doesn't know where she is. He's the one that left her. Now, he, possibly if something, I don't know the law, the letter of the law. Possibly if something does happen to her, let's say someone raped her, someone killed her, whatever. Um, possibly he could be liable for that because he's uh, the cause to the effect he left her in an unsafe environment sort of thing so possibly it could be a civil suit or I don't know how that would work but he could be a manslaughter or something I don't know what degree a, a, a murder it could be or what charge would could come against him but a charge could come against him let's say again something happens to her which something did so the lawyer was like you know go low hide blah blah don't be seen, don't say nothing, maybe she'll show up and you'll be fine. Otherwise we have to explain all these and you'll have even more trouble. No one's going to believe anything that you say, period. So I think that was a good strategy. Now, as he's home, as he's hiding, as people, a press is getting more uh, angry at him, um, he may be, the parents I think in him came up with a plan. Him going to this place where he always goes to the park where they were searching for him. Uh, with the car, without the car, you know, they, they had a, a messy plan. But the plan was for him to go missing. The parents to report him missing in order to lure Gabby out. In order for her to come out and say, hey, I'm here, you know, I, you know I've been fine. I'm staying with these nice people. So... In order to lure her out into the public view, he had to go missing because she loves him. So, you know, um, maybe she would come out because she'd be concerned about him now. So, that's why I think he went missing. And I think it was him and his parents just came up with this plan, this stupid plan. But then they were worried about the car still there, which they should have just left the car there. But, but they were panicking and they didn't know what to do. And who knows how, these were not people that can plan a murder or plan this whole, you know, uh, t um, horrible, dark cloud situation. They don't know what they're doing, you know. So anyway, so I think that's what happened. Now, a body was found that looked like her, and I believe that possibly um, they were short. I don't know how many days from when the police contacted them to when she was found. I don't know how many days that was or when he ditched her. I think that was at, at least 10 days. I'm not quite sure. But remember, they didn't have water on the police stop, and they also didn't have a lot of money, which leads me to believe that possibly they didn't have a lot of water. Um... As they were going on another hike for when he could try to ditch her so I really believe that she died of natural causes lack of water lack of food she was already really skinny she was already much skinnier than her Facebook pictures um, so her health was probably not that great um, so I believe she died of lack of food lack of water um, possibly heat exhaustion so that's what I think how the whole thing went down um, now I know a lot of comments are very sinister against him and if I'm wrong I'm wrong like I said I'm only human um, but I, I just didn't get the sense of evil with him now they were trying to connect it to the other murders that happened there's there's two women that got shot and they even 
posted to the friends, you know, that were camping in the same area that she was found or near it or something. And they said, you know, this creepy man has been watching us. If something happens to us, we're, we got murdered. What I think is this creepy man, I don't think it was uh, Brian. I think it was a creepy man that was stalking them because it was two women. They were about 10 years difference in age, I think. So maybe he thought it was a mother and a daughter. And I think he was stalking them to possibly rape them. Who, who knows? Maybe kill them at, after he raped them, possibly. But then he was watching them and he realized that they were actually a couple. A lesbian couple. And, you know, not everybody is open-minded. Um, so I think he found that disgusting. I think he found that angered him it messed up his plan so as a result for them being lesbian as a as a um what you call it? a crime of uh what's it called um like prejudiced you know he was prejudiced against them i think he just shot them okay i don't think their murder will ever be found I didn't even look into those murderers. I just saw their picture. I don't even know all the facts. I just know they were shot. And I saw them and they were a couple. I just saw the picture of them. That's all I know about that murder. So I don't think it's the same person that did Gabby. Because when they found Gabby, they said they didn't know the cause of death. And if I think if it would have been a gunshot wound. Because the other murderer probably would have used the same weapon. Then they would have said gun, gunshot wound to the back, to the head. I think they might have expressed that. Um, cause, But they did not know the cause of death. death. That's why they're doing the autopsy. Again, I could be wrong. So anyway, let's just see what the cards have to say. We'll pull like maybe three cards. And then I'll end this video. Um, so that, um, you know, out there in the public is what I believe happened. And I'm just trying to test my intuition and my abilities. Okay. Okay, we have this card came out first. Oops, can, oh, can you see it? You can't see it? Hang on a minute. All right. Um, can you see this card? Oh, man. Okay, hopefully you can kind of see it. It is the Hermit. Okay, in the Epic Terror. This is what I use for news stories, um, you know, global issues like coronavirus. So, yes, she was left alone, which tells me she was not hurt. She was not killed. She was just left alive alone. No, Thomas. You better not touch that camera. Get back. What else can you tell us? I'm just going to do three cards on this. Aha. Uh -huh. Ace of Cups. Okay, what's calling out to me at this card? Oh, shit. My battery's going to die. Is, do you see the, heart, the crosses in her eyes? That's medical. To me, that's medical like the Red Cross, she needed help. They had an argument, their emotions were overflowing. Um, this is why he left her. Okay, I'm gonna probably have to change the battery. Let me just try to pull one more card. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, one more card. Okay, a couple more cards. Okay, <laughs> lots of cards, I guess they weren't. You know what, let me change my battery. Okay. Oh, that's so much better with the light. But I can't hold my camera and do this at the same time. Okay. Let's go. Oh, sorry. Let's get just situated here. All right. All right. So we also have, okay. We have another ace. Ace of Pentacles. Okay. This was, um, they were trying to, uh, she was trying to start a, I don't know, a YouTube channel or a vlog or whatever they call it for her life on the road with the van life. And um, so this is calling out to me. 
I know it's pentacles, but it's just calling out to me like the internet. So this all started with, okay, with um, becoming an internet sensation, you know, becoming what everybody sees that looks like the dream, but is not the dream. Um, sometimes it's an illusion what we see online. Oh my god another ace then we have the ace of wands there was a lot of passion between them which we obviously saw because she was slapping him with the with the and hitting him with her phone there was passion if you could see the hands on this card they're pointing at each other okay um it looks kind of like a masculine and a feminine hand now the masculine hand looks like bones so I just believe believed that again like I said the passion between them he just went stone cold he was like fuck this B oh I shouldn't have said that word F this B and I'm leaving her I'm ditching her I'm done with this um so he became cold okay then we have um Sorry, my cat was messing. Oh my gosh, we have the world. The world is watching, which is the internet. This, I know there's one YouTube channel that says my cards never lie. I swear my cards never lie. But um, we have the world, which can be the internet. Oh no, you know, and I wondered about this. I had wondered about this. Okay, this is the Empress, and, and this card, she's very pregnant. You know, I wondered if there was an issue with a pregnancy. Her being pregnant, him not wanting it to be pregnant, because they don't have money to support it. Or, I just don't know, but I did, I did get a vision about some kind of pregnancy. Maybe she doesn't even know that she was pregnant. When they do the autopsy, that'll be interesting. But this is also about Mother Gaia, nature. Okay, do you see the butterflies here? Okay, um, you know, you wonder why. People are going to be like, but why? His fa her family is going to be like, why did you let her just pass away? You know, they were in nature. They were with Mother Gaia. They are, they pray. You know, but spirit, spirit took her. It was her time to go. Maybe this whole thing was for a lesson for the, the world, for us to learn. That things aren't always as they seem. People need help. Even the best of people, even the happiest looking person might need help. It's a call for mental illness. Um resources it's a call for the police to use mental resources on calls on stops and then we ha oh we have the chariot five six seven that's a chariot yeah Th this was about the trip the trip of a lifetime the trip to document the trip to try to get views to try to get likes to t try to get subscribers Basically, if this trip never happened, she would not be deceased. But again, we can't get into the what ifs. Um, personally, I believe we all have an expiration date that was planned when we were born. And we may be learning lessons for ourselves or our expiration date may have to help other people learn their lessons. Um, and I'm not saying that in any kind of cold manner. But here, let's, I'll show you the cards oh, better. Oh, wait, I can't. <laughs> I don't know what I was looking at. So, there's our spread. And there's what my cards revealed. So, that's, that's what I think happened. Kind of what I said before I pulled the cards. Okay. I'm just wondering if one is a Virgo, one is a Cancer. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to blow up. That's my alarm. I don't know if you heard it. 
but my Dexcom is going off. So I will be, uh, I need to probably go stuff myself with a Snickers bar. Um, but anyway, I will be doing more videos soon and I'll explain why I haven't um, recently. A lot has been going on. So, but guys take care and I do hope, um, I really do hope that if she had to pass that it was from natural causes, that she wasn't in any kind of severe pain, that she did not get hurt physically and um, now, now she can just be an angel in heaven watching over all of us. And I do hope that he is found, um, I think he should, um, as long as he doesn't do anything to himself, because he could have feel the guilt once he hears and they, they confirm that it's her. I hope he doesn't do anything while he's alone to himself. Um, then, like one person called it, a Romeo and Juliet kind of case, then it might just be. But hopefully he will get the help he needs. Um, and I'm not trying to be so sympathetic to him. You know, if I get some bad comments on here, it's just this is what I'm seeing the situation as. Again, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You know, I'm human. I'm only human. I can only go by what my intuition is telling me. And I'm doing this as a test for myself. So, um, because, you know, we have, as readers, sometimes we have, um, what you call it? What you call it? Um, I forget what it's called. You don't, I know, I know you know what I'm talking about. I have my lupus brain, so I forget words sometimes. What is it? Imp oh, imposter syndrome. That's it. Yeah. That's, that's the one. So anyway, um, I, I hope, um, the best for everybody concerned. My prayers go out to both families because they were young kids. Um, I, like I said, I have my two daughters around the same age. Um, and I would just be devastated, but uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.